Before this alleged rioter could catch his flight here in Logan, he was pulled over in New York State for alleged erratic driving. And at the time, police say he was he had blood on him and that he told them that he was fighting tyranny in D.C. and that he's wanted by the FBI. Video of the Capitol attack shows a man wearing a tan jacket, black helmet, and green backpack helping pull a Capitol police officer down some steps while another man beats him with a U.S. flag. Another image shows the same man holding a baton over the officer as he lies face down on the steps. People started chanting, uh, kill him with his own gun. And at that point, you know, self-preservation kicked in. Now, federal prosecutors say the man in the tan jacket has been arrested and identified as 51-year-old Jeffrey Sable. At a hearing in federal court, the judge described Sable's alleged actions as beyond the pale and shocking. Prosecutors say after the attack, Sable booked a plane ticket from Boston to Switzerland, a country where he would not be able to be extradited back to the U.S. So far, it does not appear that Sable ever made it to Logan. He was arrested Friday morning at a hospital near New York City, where he was being treated for injuries following an attempted suicide. Police records show Sable is originally from Utica, New York, and more recently worked in Colorado as a physicist. He does not appear to have any ties to Massachusetts. And at this point, Sable is facing charges of interfering with police during a civil disorder. He's being held without bail. Live at Logan, David Beatty, WCBB, News Center 5.